a lot of murals. We did a flower mural. We did a cloud mural. I, I love art. So the fact that I can incorporate two things that I love is, is just amazing to me. We need women. Construction needs, we need more and more women. My name is Andrew John. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn, and I work for Local 7 as a tile setter. This year, I look forward to making 65 to 70K with overtime. I fell in love with building. I was about four years old. My dad came home. We had like little pieces of wood and we built a dollhouse together. We even built some, we even built like little couches, little chairs, little tables. So that's when I really first fell in love with construction. My mom, she didn't she didn't want me to be in construction. Before I got into South Setting, I was a teacher's assistant. I was going to school to become a teacher. I love kids so much, but I felt like something was missing. Like I wasn't really doing what I wanted to do. I knew $12 would not, it would not pay off my loans. It would not help me pay tuition. It really wouldn't do much, but just help me get by. So I was like, you know what Z, it's, it's time. So I just went on the internet. I Googled women in construction and that's when I found you. That was really the start of like a whole nother journey for me because I would do the TA, TA in the daytime and I would just leave there and go straight to new. Okay. Mm -hmm. For your apprenticeship, they time you. You get timed every day. In Tile, it's about speed, who's fast, who's fast and who's good. So they always made sure that we would finish at a certain time. So when we get in the field, we would be ready for people that, people that rush you. My first job, I was so, so nervous. I was nervous because I had to get on the hoist and the hoist was going to like the 26th floor. I wasn't really that comfortable with being in the hoist because it's, it's outside and it was a little bit scary for me. But after the first few days, it wasn't that bad. When you're an apprentice, that's really the first job they give you is to be like a helper because in Thai we have, we have a mechanic, we have the apprentice and we have a helper. Go from twelve dollars an hour to thirty-two dollars an hour. It's it's huge, a huge difference to me. I can save more. I can help my mom more. And also recently, I'm thinking about saving to um saving for my car. It's only gonna be more. The more you work, the more the more you make. When I became a journeyman, my main thing is really to just help the apprentices, especially if it's girls, because me coming in, I see that they don't give us that much help. Being a female in construction, there's not many of us. So it was like nerve wracking and exciting at the same time. Like, yeah, I'm here, but also like, you know, I know you're mad I'm here, but I'm happy I'm here, but I know you're upset I'm here. Normal day, I wake up at 5.45. I work in Manhattan. It takes me about roughly 40 minutes to get to work. See you later, elevator. I come in about 6.45. I start work around 7, 7.10. When I get in, I get into work. I go to my gang bars, get my tools. Go to my foreman, ask him, you know, what am I doing today? When I'm done setting up my mechanic, then I do my task. <laughs> Either I'm tiling or I'm grouting or I'm mixing mud. First year or two, you get like, you, you book your helper, helper makes the inset, helper, the helper grouts, helper cuts tiles, stuff like that. I get my tile together, I get my grinder, make sure I have my water, make sure my wet saw is on. If I'm going high, I get my scaffold. So usually for the whole day, it's just me, my scaffold, my towels, my water, and I finish my bathroom or half my bathroom. We wrap up around 2.30, 3 o'clock, and if you have overtime, which is great, I love overtime. Regular day is seven to three. Overtime, usually 3.30 to five, six o'clock. They were kind of tough on me my first day, I'm not gonna lie. Being the only woman on a job, some, sometimes it can get weird because 
like uh, the guys are scared to say good morning. So they would just, you know, they would just stare at you a little bit. Sometimes guys make little comments like, oh, um, what made you want to get into construction? Shouldn't you be doing this? Shouldn't you be at home? I'm like, shouldn't you be at home? But it's already difficult being a woman in construction, but also, you know, being a black woman in construction. It's very difficult because there's a lot of, there's a lot of racist people. They would draw things, like draw things in the bathroom. They, they would put like, you know, Trump stuff or like, you know, N-word stuff. Or they would draw a picture. They would draw like a monkey picture, things like that. They even had like, when I was at LaGuardia, they had like Nazi uh, stuff in the bathroom. Some people really, really go out of their way just to make you feel like uncomfortable. And I don't understand why. Some guys just want to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, you don't belong here. I'm going to make sure you come to work and you feel like you don't want to be here. But no, I do want to be here. So I'm going to show you that I belong here and that I want to be here. I met my mentor my first day. I met a great guy in my union. And since that first day of work, he's been there for me. Due to the pandemic, I lost hours in my apprenticeship. Right now, I'm at 50%. I should be a little higher, but I will be at 100% soon where I'll be a journey woman making all the cash. Cha-ching. The period of time where I felt depressed because I wasn't working, it was really, it was hard to put myself out of that because I was just home every day. I met some amazing guys in the union. Even when I'm not working, they lift me up, they talk to me, they ask me if I'm, I'm okay, do I need anything? And honestly, my mom, she helped me a lot. She'd be like, Z is okay. Cause my brother, he's in, um, he's uh, in construction as well. So he would call me, he would tell me like, Z is gonna be okay. Do you need money? Do you need anything? It's, so I really had a lot of people behind me. After the, the, the depression, like I got, I got more courage. Sometimes I get like anxiety calling people that I don't know. So I really, I had, I was depressed and I had the anxiety. So I'm like, oh my God, how am I even gonna get back to work if I'm not even trying? And I just got some courage one day. I'm like, you know what, let me just go to the meeting. I'm gonna make some phone calls. And even if I don't get back to work soon, at least I try and I know that I try. We as women are strong enough to do anything, anything that men can do. Just go for it. Don't let anyone say you can't do it. You're not supposed to. No, we're supposed to. We're supposed to be here. They need us here. So anything you want to do in the field, tile, iron work, anything, go go for it. You, you can do it and you will do it. And you will be in the field and they will be jealous. That's it.